Hey everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel if you are new here. It is so nice to meet you. In today's video, we are back at it again with a monthly favorites video. These are some of my favorite videos to film just to pull all of the things that I've been loving for the month together. And I feel like there's some people who watch them every single month and I'm so thankful for you for doing that because I don't feel like these videos do that well, but I enjoy making them so I continue to make them because like I said, I enjoy them. They're some of my favorite videos to film. So I just wanted to share with you guys the things that I have been loving through the month of September. And I say this every single month, but I cannot believe we are at the end of another month, but I am ready for October. I'm ready for cooler weather. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It's already started to cool down here, which is actually so nice because I remember October 1st last year, it was like 90 degrees outside and it's definitely been cooler outside recently than it has been. So I'm super thankful for that. And I'm just ready for fall to really take its full effect because in South Carolina, it doesn't really get that cold here. I'm super ready for that. So before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also please be sure to follow me over on Instagram. I am trying to grow over there. Also, I'm trying to reach 4,000 subscribers before the end of the year, I guess. Um, I'm so close, but I feel like uh, I keep losing subscribers and I don't know why. So if I could have you guys help me out, that'd be so awesome. And let's go ahead and get into my favorite. So the first thing I want to talk about is a pair of jeans. These are from Target and they're the brand Wild Fable. And Wild Fable, typically, I feel like just in my experience, Wild Fable has run a little bit small in the past. So I've never been able to find clothes that really fit me and my body has changed so much over the last couple of years um, I've had a lot, a lot of life changes and I've gained a bunch of weight um, Some of it is healthy weight basically I gained a bunch of weight and I have had the biggest struggle Over the last two years finding jeans that fit me well and that I really enjoy wearing and I've really only been able to find one pair So whenever I saw these at Target, I was so excited. First of all, I love the wash of them I just think this is such a classic jean color and again, they're from the brand Wild Fable. These are a size 14 and they're a little bit big in the waist, but I was scared to try on a 12. So I got the 14s and they fit great. Um, I did haul these in a recent haul, but they just have these cute rips down the knees. And there is this one and this is a bigger rip than this one. And um, I definitely discovered these are not great for taking photos in um, whenever I am like the photographer because I have to go up and down so much um, that my knees were making it difficult. But I think they're super cute and they fit so well. And um, my mom texted me this morning and told me that Target is having a buy one get one 50% off on jeans this week. So I'm going to have to run by there and grab two pairs of jeans because I love the way that these fit and would love to have some more. Also, this is the mom jean um, in Wild Table. So really love them and they're super comfy. My next favorite has to be this notebook. I hauled this at the same time I hauled that, but this is a notebook. It says make today a good day and it is from Maddie Green Designs and it is just a bullet journal. It has thoughts. Um, it's hard to see the dots on camera, but they're so subtle. So if you did want to turn this into a bullet journal, it's a perfect option. It's so cute because it has this. It says make today a good day. And then it has her little logo on the front. And then it has this, which is part of her logo. And then it's also on the front in the corners as well. And I just think this is so cute. The quality is so nice. Um, and I got this from Etsy. So if I remember, I'll try to link these things down below for you guys. Sometimes I forget, but she also sent me a free sticker with something else. And then I got another free sticker from her that has just make today a good day on it. And I use this not for a bullet journal, but for just like making daily to-do lists. And I have found it to just be super helpful. So like Tuesday or my Tuesday to-do list there. Um, I've got some more to-dos here and it's just super nice and handy to have around. And I like that it is a soft cover because I found that a lot of like bullet journal type things are hard cover and for daily notes and stuff, I like to use soft cover. So I really love this and I think it's super cute. My next fave is also from her and it is actually this sweatshirt. It has this design. It's these little trees and then a sun on it. And this is the brand Comfort Colors, but she made this and I just think it is the most comfortable thing in the world. I got an extra large because I wanted it to fit a little bit oversized, but it is so comfy and um, she just released these not too long ago. I got mine in the mail literally yesterday but I'm adding it to my favorites because I have had my eye on it for so 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 long and it definitely lives up to the hype that she gives it so I just wanted to include this as well. And then my next fave is a super big one like super big and I'm sure you all can guess what my next favorite is. Can you guess? It's my iPad. Um, I have made a couple of videos about my iPad since I got it. 
Um, I ordered it on August 1st and I got it on September 4th. So it was a really long ride. I did an unboxing, I did an accessories unboxing, and then I also did setting up my iPad. And my next video after this is also going to be an iPad video. So if you're sick of them, I'm sorry, but I really like making content with my iPad and it's just been so nice to have it. Um, I did get the 12.9 iPad Pro, which is why it's so massive. Um, I was looking, um, I was with my cousin yesterday and she has just a regular iPad and literally the thing is so small in comparison. But here is my background. It says, um, know your worth. And my case has a spot for the pencil. So I also have the Apple Pencil, the second generation Apple Pencil. And I have just so been enjoying using my iPad Pro. It has seriously been so much fun learning how to use Procreate and all the stuff. So it's just been something that is absolutely the best. So 10 out of 10 would recommend if you are in the market for an iPad, this is so great i love it so much i'll try to link this down below for you guys as well although i'm sure you know how to find one and then my next favorite is actually an app and of course i just talked about my ipad is procreate i have literally spent so much time on procreate i will just put some screenshots of the stuff that i've made on procreate on the screen for you guys but i have been having so much fun there are so many people that have awesome brushes that i've purchased i found free downloads and i've really just been challenging myself creatively and really diving into graphic design over the last month. I have a degree in digital media from college, so I can do graphic design and I've always really enjoyed it. I've been enjoying graphic design since I was a child. Being able to play with the iPad and really challenge myself on Procreate has been a really awesome experience and I've been enjoying it so, so much. And I have been working on a very special project, which I will be announcing soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm just so excited about Procreate and everything that I have been able to make on Procreate. The next thing I have been loving is this water bottle. And this water bottle has a few of my special projects on it. Can you guess what they are? That's not all though. Um, so basically I ordered this water bottle. So, okay, let's back up. A few months ago in June, um, wish.com, their company, someone from their company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a video with them. And I ordered a bunch of stuff with the credits that they gave me. And I did a stationary haul and then I did a technology haul. And then I also compared wish airpods to apple airpods and those three videos have done really well and i really love shopping from wish so whenever i was on wish this was the last thing that i never got that was never in any of the videos because it took so long to get here it got here at the beginning of this month and i ordered it in june so it took a hot minute to get here but as you can see it has the hydro flask logo on it and then i also covered up the hydro flask logo with this sticker um these two stickers are for my friend Kayla, she has a Etsy shop with stickers on them, so I'll link her store down below for you guys. But I, um, this is not a real Hydro Flask. There's no way it's a real Hydro Flask, um, again, because it was from Wish, but it has the lid like this and with the straw. And I have a Camelback water bottle that I absolutely adore. It's 40 ounces, it holds so much water, but it does not have the straw. And there is like a new version of it that has a straw, but the straw doesn't fit my water bottle. So I've been wanting one with a straw because I drink a lot more whenever it has basically a sippy cup. Um, so I decided to pick one out on Wish's website. I was like, if it's crappy, it doesn't matter because I'm not really paying for it. So um, this is so nice actually. It works as just as well as my Camelback does. And it's like insulated like this. And I got white and this is more of a like light bluish tone, but that's fine. You can't really tell on the camera, but um, I can only tell because there's like other white things up against it. Seriously have enjoyed this water bottle so much. And like I said, it's definitely a fake Hydro Flask. The picture that I ordered it of on their website was just a plain white water bottle. It did not have any logos or anything on it and it did not claim to be a hydro flask at all so i mean idk but here it is and i've been trying to cover up the hydro flask logos just because it's not real so or i don't think it's real um it's definitely not real if it's from wish but um yeah there's this and i've been enjoying it so definitely definitely love this water bottle um and it's definitely been helping me drink a lot more water my next and last favorite for the month of september is my library card this is so weird and random and it's 2020, everything about 2020 is weird and random. I did not think that I would get a library card at 24 years old, but here I am with a library card. I'm not gonna show you the library card because it shows you the city that I live in and IDK, I guess we're gonna care about safety in this video. So I'm not gonna show you that, but I found out that the library that's closest to me is open on Saturdays. And so I had to, I like got online. I saw a, it was like a life hack on Instagram where it was like, your local library 
lets you download ebooks and I was like wait let me check that out so I got library card and it was super helpful to have but then it expired so I had to go in person to get a new card because I had to like prove my address and prove that I like live in the county that I live in um, which totally makes sense because they don't want some random on the other side of the world using their library books that totally makes sense but I um, I got a library card and it's been so helpful and I have not checked a book out in person since I was in high school probably of a library but I definitely have been checking out some ebooks and it's been so nice because I don't have to pay for them and so I will like go <laughs> this is really sad I'll go to Target or something and I'll look at new releases and I will go to Amazon and see new releases and if there's like any books that are recommended for me on Amazon Kindle then I will just see if it's available to the library and if it is then I'll download it. I highly recommend checking out your local library. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and help me reach 4,000 subscribers by the end of this year and follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to grow over there too and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!